Hello, this is Gary Simon of GarySimon.net and DesignCourse.com, and today we are going to design this heart graphic. And first, if you're watching this on YouTube and not on the actual tutorial page on my website, make sure you check out the link in the description below so you can view the full tutorial because this video right here is only the second part in a four-part series on t-shirt design. Okay, so I'm going to click out of this and we're going to go to File New and set the width at 700, the height by 500 points and hit OK. I'm going to hit Control 1 just so I'm at 100% here. And to start off, we're going to go to View, Show Grid, and then View, Snap to Grid. Now I'm going to take the magnifying glass here and zoom up a couple times. And I'm going to take the pen tool. And I'm just going to select right here on the center point. And then I'm going to go up about three grid points. And you may not be able to see this uh, depending on the video here. And I'm going to drag out around three points. And then somewhere around right here, I'm going to drag out a few more. And then right around here, I'll add another point. Now, we want to mirror this, uh, so we have to be sure that we are on the same points here on the grid. Actually, one second. And then what we want to do is end up right around here. And then we will take the direct selection tool and adjust this up one. Now, if we select this, we want to change stroke up here. I'm going to try six. All right, so that looks pretty good to me to start off with. Actually, I may want to change it to 8 because we want these to be nice and thick. I'm going to scale this up holding Shift and the Alt key. And because I've done that, we need to make it even thicker. All right, that's good. All right, so now I'm going to turn off and hide the grid and turn off snap to grid. So now what we want to go to do is go to object, path, outline stroke. All right, so there's one area real quick I want to clean up. So I'm going to zoom up here and just drop that a little bit. You may or may not have to do this. Okay. All right, so right here, if we click down here uh, and extend this in our layers, we have a group right here. And this background right here, we want to change to a red. Okay, so now I'm going to zoom up. And first, we're going to select the black outline here and we're going to change it to a dark uh, brown oops sorry take the direct selection tool and then change it to dark brown now we're going to take the pen tool and we want to take this thorn probably right around here and end it right around there. Now if you've never used the pen tool, sometimes it, it does take a, a little time to get used to. Uh, and you can do a search on how to effectively use the, the pen tool and there's tons of tutorials out there but it is one of the tools that I use most. Okay so we can adjust it a little bit more if we want. Alright so now we want, what we want to do is add some of the uh, thorns coming out up around this area here. So 
I'm going to zoom up more. And you can add these however you want and wherever you want. I'm going to make them a little bit jagged. And maybe just one more right here. All right, so now I want to add some highlights to this. So I'm going to select just a lighter brown and then take the pen tool. Well, first I want to zoom up just a little bit more. Take the pen tool and try to follow the actual contour of this thorn now when I do that I'm holding I'm holding the alt key and then just clicking once because otherwise if we leave that there and we try to go up here you see what it does And then we're just going to end it right around here. Now I'm going to take the opacity and just turn it off all the way to zero. And then come around here and turn it back on. And we want to come straight down here. Now we can adjust it a little bit more uh, and, and make it kind of flow better with the direct selection tool. And we can just move these around a little bit. Okay, so we can add a few more. I'm going to add one starting right here on the inner side of the thorn. Now I'm just hitting Control Z when I, I want to undo something. Oops, click back on there. Now I'm going to hold Alt here on this one and just drag out a little bit because I don't want it to go quite as far as it was. Okay, let's hit Control-1 to zoom out. And I want to add a highlight over here. We'll start right around here. and end right around here. So we're assuming the light source is coming out from, from the upper left. And this just gives the design some feeling of depth. Now if you see here how it kind of goes over the other line, you could take the direct selection tool and just drag this in a little bit. All right, control one. Okay, so now the next step is creating kind of a shadow as if this part of the thorn is coming up 
over on top of the red heart area right there. So let's zoom up. And we're going to take the, uh, let's see, a, a dark brown right here. And we're going to start right there at the very tip. And we're going to drag out right around here, following this area, and then end up right around there. All right. Then we're going to come up. And then end it right here. So now we want to drag this layer down further here to right there, right in between that initial group that was created. And I'm going to hit Control H to get rid of the, the line view. And we're going to change the opacity down here to something. Oops. something pretty light like that. Actually, I, I, I don't want to use the opacity. I just realized So what I'm going to do is change this to 100%. And then we're going to experiment with actually getting a solid color without having to adjust the opacity here. So let's see here. Let me take here and just use a, a darker red color. I'm going to double click on that and maybe just make it a little bit darker. Okay, that's better. All right, so let's add two more for the shadows of these specific thorns. Right around here. And... That looks pretty good. So we have a couple more to do. I want to do one on this inner re edge right there. And we'll start right around here. And we can just quickly go over here, connect them, bring this layer down. Right around there. Hit Control One, and then one more. Finally, underneath this thorn, and we'll just go to right around here and drag that down to right around here. Actually, up but down further here. Okay. Control One. All right, so now the only other step left is to add the blood. And I'm going to use this same color. Zoom up. We'll take our pen tool. I'll hit Control H so we can view the actual path. And we can adjust this a little bit more. And then for the puddle of blood at the bottom, we'll just create some type of random spatter shape here. And then we'll take and hold the Alt key with the Move tool. And we'll hit Shift to scale up a little bit more. Hit Control-1. And there we go. That is our thorn in the heart idea for the t-shirt. And that's all that's involved in creating this vector graphic here in Adobe Illustrator. So go ahead back to the tutorial if you're not on my site and you can continue on with the third and fourth step. Okay, so if any of you have actually followed along, go ahead and feel free to share your attempt at making this. And also, if you decide to go forth and follow the full tutorial and try to attempt to sell your t-shirts and make money out of a t-shirt business, uh, share that as well. All right, thanks a lot.